his mouth. You better be glad we're not the third team in this, boy. And the rest of you rednecks better be happy we're not. What we're out here to do We're out here to plan a funeral. Jagged's got the night off. So in case any of you fools want to come across that barrier, here's what you're going to see first and foremost. I am purely out here for my entertainment because whoever is unlucky enough to win this will face UAS in two weeks and go six feet under in a cold, cold ground. Good luck. Timmy D, you best get that headset off, boy, and make some room, because I'm going to entertain myself tonight. Entertain in your yourself? Seat. Are you insane? Inter yeah, it's going to be you and me. Try not to mess this up, Wolverine. This is ridiculous. I, well, I mean, he is the GM, but give me a break. Well, the, the tag team ru Mega Rumble is on. I, I'm being joined up here by our general manager, Jerry Palmer. Jerry, one of these teams is going to be getting a shot at the Tag Team Champions at our next set of television tapings. But there's so much stuff going on. What's this I'm hearing about Brody Chase not getting a rematch? Well, test one, test one, two, test one, two. Now, you know, you Brett, first and foremost, I got to check your sound booth over here because it is me against the world. Brody Chase better get a different attorney because I got Jeff G. Bailey. He's not getting a rematch. He's not going to get one tonight or any other time. He should have checked his contract before he signed it. But let's get to business for right now. And right now, it's funny. Brent, it's funny. It's, well, it's, we, we've got the first two teams in this mega rumble. You have Dustin Knight in the red and blue, his tag team partner Joey Reimer in the white and black against hot commodity CB Suave, who's in there with Reimer, and Tommy Panarelli, the Italian stallion, over here with Dustin Knight. Well, the thing about it is, I have personally nothing wrong with either of these two teams. Very talented ring full of people right now, I'd say. But the thing is, they are competing to see who gets destroyed in two weeks, Brent. I, it's amazing to me. But well, well, if I know, remember, people do a lot of stuff for fame. Well, if I remember right, didn't you handpick Joey Reimer once to face Sean Tempers when he was still the North American champion? I did. I, I did. And let me tell you, it was more or less to show Joey Reimer and these bunch of rednecks just how bad their misconception of his can be. Is he talented? Yes. If we put a bag of rocks in his back pocket, he's a buck 35. The, I don't know where Franklin does find some of these kids. Nothing about Joey Reimer's heart. One minute remaining. One minute. He ain't even out of elementary school well, we yet. We just heard one minute remaining from Timmy D. Our, I guess our ring announcer for this contest. And introducing down the aisle, he is Outlaw, Matt Lancey, and Ricky well, Starr. Get out there. Well, we've got Matt Lancey in the black, and in the black and green, we have his tag team partner, Ricky Starks. Three teams, we're halfway through this mega rumble with the first three teams. Outlaw Matt Lancey squaring off with Dustin Knight. Joey Reimer seems to be going up top. Wait a minute. This is very dangerous. I'm moving. There's a frog splash. Goes for the cover. One, two. High risk maneuver. And, and, you know, that don't look bad. That don't look bad at all. It's still amazing, though. Hot commodity standing out on the floor for those watching at home. Double under hook into a face buster. Ricky Starks delivers to Joey Reimer. Dustin Knight goes head first into the turnbuckle. So much stuff going on in this mega rumble, it's hard to call the action. Massive double spine buster by the outlaw Matt Lancey and Ricky Starks on Dustin Knight. You know, they could very well just be setting them up for hot commodity at this point. Well, you know, this is all irrelevant. You know, next week, Dustin Knight goes up and over. He is eliminated. Den Dustin Knight has been eliminated. Uh, don't even worry about that. Dustin let's talk Knight about something else. But now Joey Reimer is at a, at a disadvantage, well, though, hey, because hey, if hey, he's hey, eliminated. Let's talk about next week. You know as well as I do. This is to find the next loser to UAS. Let's talk about something well, else. There goes Joey Reimer. We've got one yeah, team eliminated there now. There you go. 
no offense to them, but they, this is this is all nothing but preliminary. Joey Reimer nothing has been eliminated. That's all this is. You know, next week, Junior's going to take on Azrael. That's right, our, our former heavyweight and former tag team champion, Azrael, taking all on the big man who's standing watch over you right now. All due respect. He's not standing. You know why he's here? He is not here for my protection. He is a here to protect these fools out here who might think they want to put a hand on me because if they do and if they get past Big Nasty, this man right here is going to kill somebody. He already just about paralyzed Slim J. No offense to you as the general I'm manager, but I get minute. a little nervous when you've got uh, Big Nasty up You here. know, it, it, it's just... You ever seen Jim Cornette walk around without his tennis racket? I have not. Jerry Palmer don't walk around without Big Nasty. It's, 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 and again, not necessary for my protection. It's for the protection of the people. Well, again, Hot Commodity is out on the floor. Ricky Starks and the outlaw, Matt Lancey, are in the ring. We have got to be about 30 seconds away, I believe, from the next team to come out here. Hot Commodity is working smart right now. Well, I will give them credit. There's no count outs in these mega rumbles. That's they, right. The only they, way they're, they're going to be eliminated up. is pinfall submission or over the top rope. Uh, they, 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 listen, these guys, they've been paying attention. They've Ten, been watching film. Nine, they are smart. Eight, seven, I'm, I'm six, building a little more respect. Five, four, three, two, one. Because again, this is irrelevant. And Ladies introducing Bradley Isle. He is the situation. Buku Dow and Hot Shot. Mike Wilder. Wilder. Wilder in the black trunks. His partner Buku Dow in the yellow and Red, they're taking it to Matt Lancey you know, and Ricky You know Stark. what it reminds me of? It reminds me of ordering at a Chinese restaurant. I'd prefer just to say, let's get a number two and move on. A number two, not so spicy, Brett. That's, that's all. Whatever you said his name was, no offense. I'm not trying to offend any of the Orioles, but my goodness, if you're coming into the Church of Southern Wrestling, give me something I can pronounce. Well, what did you say his name was again? The Situation Buku Dao. That's one guy. That's one guy. Okay. His tag team partner is Hot Shot Blake Wilder. Blake Wilder is being attacked right now by you. Ricky Starks and Matt Lancey. Man, I, I, I'll be, nothing but respect for your job, Brent. I mean, to just try to pronounce some of this, some of these guys, I mean, these guys look very athletic, uh, maybe short-lived as it is. Well, Buzu Dow is at risk of going over the top rope into the floor. You talk about next week. Next week we have the six-man tag team match. Your members of the elite taking on Team Anarchy. Slim J. At, oh, we got a oh. double elimination. Buku Dow has That's been no, eliminated. Floor, Ricky good, Starks but, has also you know, been they're, eliminated. They're working smarter. They're working smarter, not harder. I have as well as That's outlaw hard, Matt right. Lancey. Nothing wrong with that. Well, Matt Lancey has been eliminated. It, it looks, they're calling And for also the Ricky Starr. This isn't the last team. We've got two more teams left in this. Oh, yeah. They, they like to see it over. I mean, again, do they really want this to be over? Or do they just want to put up a good show and then, and then just throw it to the last team? I, you know, I well, don't know. Before all the chaos, yeah. well, these yeah, guys have a little right. bit of time. We were talking about six-man tag right. team action. Right. Your elite taking on our new television champion, seconds. Wild Billy Buck. Slim J, a man you guys injured at season's beatings. And the newest member back to Team Anarchy, Brian Casanova. You know, I, I still have hope for Slim J. Yeah. Yeah. Way down the aisle. Anywhere. Nazism oh, and the Vandal. Well, the Vandal goes straight. right after. Oh, I'm wow. wow. a wow. focus all dive. Well, now. On to Suave and Panarelli, who have been out on the floor for 80% of this contest so far. Oh, these two guys are on fire right here. Let's see what we got. And, you know, let's talk about Slim J and Casanova. This is going to dwindle down to nothing. Slim J nearly paralyzed last time we were here. That's right. Jeter dropped him on his head with a sit-out pile driver. Nothing, nothing make me sadder. And if you go back and check the tape, I stood guard over Slim J over there. Because I know when a man's done. It's about, it's about making a point and learning lessons. And I would think he would learn. And you're telling me who, who? injured Slim J to start with. Not last week, but think back a couple months. Who? Casanova. You can't trust the guy. We made a mistake and trusted him, but you know what? We believed in the man's athletic ability and his pure skill. He is a veteran. He is in the armed forces, and I have nothing but respect for that. 
People are giving me, you know, I get dirty phone calls and text messages and emails every day. People don't understand my view of this. My view of this is I built this. I built this house. I built it. Blood, sweat, and tears, my own. Then I take the flim flam man. Franklin Dove comes in here and basically takes it, hits me at a moment of weakness and takes it right out from under me. That's what I'm mad about. And I'm mad that these people are supporting such an abomination of what I started here. So it ain't about the guys in the locker room, Brent. It's not. It's just not about them. But Slim J, when are you going to wake up, son? When are you going to wake up and see? Well, Great back, move, by the way. Back to this mega run. Right, right. That was a beautiful moonsault by Najasism on Fenarelli. Again, pinfall, submission, over the top rope, the ways to be eliminated. We have two officials in this match, Deep Iyer's in the ring, and Wes Grissom out on the floor. I'm kind of surprised with this mega rumble that you don't have Brent Wiley out here. Uh, 60 no seconds. This doesn't need a senior official's oversight. It, it, really? The guy... The two guys that win this, are, are they getting a prize, truly? Well, are they're, they getting a prize? They're, 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 getting, getting, they're, they're getting a shot at the Tag Team Championship at our next television tapings. Well, they are. It's a shot, all right, well, we, and it's going to be a shot. We have one team, and I don't know who this last team is. I was only given the first five What do you teams. mean we've got one team left? There, this is a six-team rumble. We've only had five. 30 no, no, seconds. No, less than we, we've got, no. See, he just announced 30 seconds to the next team. Listen, I've only got five on my list. I don't know what 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 well, the, the Franklin format, Dove's trying to pull. The initial format I was given had six teams. I announced this as well, a six-team. Well, it's, it's not going to happen. These whoever wins this is the winner. So let me tell you something. Slim J, when Casanova turns on you, son. Vandal just went out into the floor. The it's Vandal a, has been eliminated. Brent, when when Casanova turns on Slim J, the elite is surely going to get the blame. But let there me, goes Nazism. He stays up on the apron though. That's it. Narcissism has nice. been eliminated. You know, I have some respect for these guys, and I feel kind of bad for them. Well, they're saying that they've won. Well, these guys, I don't believe this. Well, they're, they're the winners, but, you know, they're the winners. Wait a minute. Did you hear that? I'm sorry, what? Listen. I recognize that music. And I, you've been here long enough, Jerry Palmer. You should know that music, too. What is Brody Ray Chase going to come out here and say now? I don't think he's coming out here to say anything. I think he's found a way what into the Mega what, Rumble. Uh, not, once again, another flim flam. You know what? It's going to be the same thing. Casanova's going to turn on Slim J. Jerry Palmer's going to get the blame. Jeff Bailey's going to get the blame. It is all because people aren't thinking. And I don't know what kind of crap Franklin does pulling right now, but they are not. He is a Chase. Brody Chase. Brody Chase. What is he doing out here? here? Well, he's counting. There's two of them. That's what I thought. I forgot taking his ass right what back into for? the back. Oh, my Wait a minute. Wait just a minute. And oh, making his way down the aisle. He is the straight cat. Brody Ray Chase. Oh, and he is accompanied oh. by Brody Ray Chase. Oh, oh, this is a joke. Are oh, you being entertained by this? I, you are crazy, Brody Chase. Iceberg and Brody Ray Chase, the stray cat, the final team in this mega rumble. Jerry Palmer sitting next to me is beside himself. That's, you know what? Whatever we talked about before, people are going to learn hard lessons before this is all over. These boys have been showing they've been working harder, not smarter. Let's see. I don't know what kind of trick. Well, you said, I shouldn't be surprised. I shouldn't be surprised. You said you felt sorry for Hot Commodity because you thought they were going to have to face the Urban Assault Squad. We may have to feel sorry for Hot Commodity uh, because they have to face Brody Chase and I. Uh, you know what? You know what? I. Uh, well, work harder, not smarter. That's what they're doing now. They need to get back to working smarter, not harder. Well, against this exper experience, unbelievable. In terms of in-ring experience alone, they're going to have to work faster against the team of Brody, Chase, and Iceberg. That's the only thing they it have. Should the not advantage. surprise me. I see Bill Barrys walking around. I see Franklin Dove whispering in his ear. I should have known, but you know what? People learn lessons as they go. These fans are going to learn lessons as they go. I haven't given up on Slim J. It breaks my heart to see what happened to him last week. But right here in the ring, one of the best friends I have on this planet is right there. And he has not seen the light yet. 
He's got and he's some, listening to an Brody absolute Chase says crazy he has man. an idea. Oh no. Whip in reversal by Iceberg. Oh my! Oh my God. Unbelievable. That's a 470 pound man just somersaulted I'm from into here. Tommy Pedro. I'm from here. You forget. I know exactly how much he weighs. I've walked, I've been carried out of this building in an ambulance because of that man right there. But you know what? It made me respect him. I'm not giving up on him. Ice but he has finally got on the last nerve. Drops the leg onto the chest of CB Suave. One, Wait a minute. Two. Get out of there. Iceberg decided to roll off a of CB Suave. Wasn't ready to pin him just yet. That's a mistake on his part. These boys right here can pull this out. They need Better to really concentrate, and concentrate. been here since the opening bell, Jerry Palmer. I understand. The last team in was Iceberg and Brody Chase. They are the fresh team in this mega rumble. We are down to the final and, two teams. And, and I agree. You know, don't let, don't let their seasoned veteranness fool you. You know, people look and say, oh, these guys, these two guys, Brody Ray Chase and Iceberg, can't go that Let me tell you something. I know they can go as long as it takes. Well, so youth is not on these other boys' side. I understand that, but I have watched them to not get smarter. Well, Brody but Chase. they better get out of that ring pretty quick. Brody Chase and Iceberg seem to be toying with Suave and Penarelli. Hot That's commodity. a mistake. That's a rookie mistake, I, I, and maybe, you know, they ain't been in the ring enough. Well, you know, it's it's veterans making rookie mistakes, though. I understand. Because, I understand. You know, I'm the, with the, you. The more they're playing with it, these guys could catch their breath and potentially come back. I, I, I agree, and, you know. You know, the crowd here in Cornelia gives Hot Commodity a hard time, all the chants, they do. Pizzarelli, you know, all that stuff. But they are two tremendous athletes, or they wouldn't have been included in this That's Mega exactly Rumble. That's exactly right. I, it, it, there's no question about that. And you know what? All the, oh, Lord, he ain't going that route, is he? You know what? Oh, oh my God. Well, even I so will admit that. So much for working smarter, not harder. Even I, I will admit say. that was an illegal maneuver. But this is a battle royal, a mega rumble. There are no rules. It's pinfall submission or over the top. There's no disqualification. What are you doing, big man? What are you doing? Oh, uh, well, you know, and, and you know, don't get me wrong. I'm not fearful for UAS. I still have some respect for Brody Chase. Double drop, and that's still one of my best friends on the planet right here. In the iceberg. I'm fearful for him. Do I want him in the match in two weeks against UAS? Absolutely not, because I don't want to see him get hurt. Diving headbutt by Iceberg into the... Uh, Unbelievable. Uh, Unbelievable. I, you know, what's it going to take? How many people are going to have to be hurt? How many people are going to have nearly career-ending or career-ending injuries before... Brody Ray Chase, how long has he been off surgery? Not long. No, not long, you're correct. Why don't he see things my way? Why don't he see things Jeff G. Bowie's way? And why don't he come with his hat in his hand and say, please let me be a part of the NWA elite. Or the elite, period. NWA Big or Big splash by uh, Iceberg. One, two, oh kick my out. God. Double underhook could be the DDT by Brody Chase, it is. Suave goes down. Another big splash. We got a double count. One, two, three. Jerry Palmer. Right. Oh, the vision taping. Iceberg and Ray Chase. A crazy man. 